George Gunn, Into the Anarchic. Not as I first read it, Into the Antarctic, but Into the Anarchic. Published in Wick. George Gunn there, 1985. I really enjoy this one. The Queen Mother Drives Through Dunnet, 1968. The gouchy bitch, now striven small, turns the corner from one decade to the next. The haunting voices she leaves behind form and duplicate. Early morning howling wind through window ghostly shredded wheat of pain. Small and getting smaller, I, cropped headed, young and daft, bleary eyed, red lipped and ruddy, stared crudely. Still and bronze, her hat, her hat, oh, like a cake universe. So ridiculous. I loved its fabulous presence, and her coat, so dead and strung, the unlovely metal swish of car, of power, her Land Rover cavalcade, because up here we are slightly rough. This is not quite grouse country. But we are surely slaves. Alas, it rumbles through the little village, glinting and dumb, slumbering and sulking under the Atlantic sky. Our flat parallels, uncaring, she rides past. O oh, wicked mother! I was mucky-shoed and far too shy to whisper, bow and arrowed, a peeping red skin behind an all too Scottish hedge. My arrow was not aimed at you, lady of another time, oh no, but at the sun, the big egg we hardly saw. For were we not about to pull down France and lay Chicago low? Oh yes, these were itchy times. The splattered moment every year you poured through here, we did not care, pale, peat-eyed and rigid-faced. We watched the ugly thump of monarchy parade its ghastly airs, and usually succumbed, some laughed and waved. The sea, soft cheeks, a mass of doubt in curious amazement at such a drouth of meaning. A congregation of point and gape, with faces broad and elemental, eyes blurred and unknowing on something strange and mistaken, a visitor from another time, of when she cleared Kildonan, Hallidale, and Strathnavar, for it was she as sure as the Duchess of Sutherland or the Duke. They plodded down to coast or hell, and now she smiling, waving back. A gesture from a Rolls Royce does not right this diurnal wrong. Mackay and Gunn and Sutherland, place names of a people, ghost hang stubborn on Canadian, Australian, Kiwi, Yank. But we forget, as if this is forgiveness built from time. But in my heart I do not forget, for in 1828 or 1968 a crime is still a crime. But with a wave and a smile and a fur coat and a chauffeured life of castle and wealth, the moneyed bric-a-brac of the robbing elite, she blusters past. I hung my bow and arrow over my back and walked the starry miles to Dwark Head to listen there to my anger fly and swoop out, out to the Atlantic, that tearful ocean. I let my sorrow that was more than mine retrace that ancestral route. But she, unknowing, motored on to me, 
And there in the bay beneath me, fat and ridiculous, anchored by scrabsters, smiling side, grinned the Britannia. I've never been to Dwarak Head, so my apologies to the people of the province of the Cat. I didn't manage to pronounce that correctly. Great poem, though. Great poem.